welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm very excited to do because I'm going to be talking about my November favorites and luckily no fails this time. I have a mostly makeup to talk about however I have some skincare and some beauty tools to share with you today. And before we get started I would like to welcome all the new viewers to my channel. Hi my name is Eve and I love all things beauty. Here on my channel I talk all about beauty, skincare, makeup and at times a life related topics like travels and fashion. So if that sounds like your thing, I hope you stick around and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, also give it a thumb up. And if you like to see my November favorites, then continue watching. I feel really festive today, guys. First of all, because I am still kind of recovering from a really bad sickness. I was really really sick after thanksgiving and it took me almost like two weeks to get better that took me down hard this time i usually don't get sick but then if i do it really takes me some time to recover and i want to say thank you to those of you who left me really kind messages i am very happy to be back we are in december and just blows my mind how fast this year has passed and i hope december is a good month to all of you i feel very excited for this month not only because of the holidays but it's also my birthday month i want to also say happy early birthdays to all of you who were born in december this makeup look i filmed for my instagram and tiktok if you wanted to see how i created it i used the pat mcgrath celestial nirvana for this a month of november as we know was full of deals a lot of brands and stores offered their promotional black friday related deals and instead of that being one day of sale or a weekend or maybe even a week we had the entire month of sales going on. I did a little bit of shopping and I will share everything that I purchased with you in a separate haul video. I also did a small fashion affordable shopping haul. Let me know if you want to see an affordable fashion haul vlog. So this past month I really have tried quite a good amount of newer products. Some of them I already featured in dedicated videos like a few eyeshadow palettes and some of them are brand new. There's some makeup products, some skincare and some beauty tools that I can't wait to share with you today. I wanted to start with sharing a few skincare items that I really really happen to love this past month. This first item is by Ulta Beauty. This is healthy hydration cleansing balm that has sweet almond oil and sheer butter in the formulation. You guys know that I love shopping at Ulta and trying their own Ulta Beauty brand and this is just another item that caught my eye that I wanted to try and test. I have been doing a double cleansing routine for my skincare for almost four years now. I really love it and I do notice the difference how much cleaner my skin is. Over these years I've tried to test it a lot of different oils and cleansing balms. I have really wanted to give this one a shot and I think it's considerably new skincare line to Ulta Beauty. In a nutshell I really enjoyed this cleansing balm. It does not leave the residue. I find that a little goes a long way. You only need a small amount what's recommended from manufacturer's directions. I found it being effective of removing the full face of makeup without leaving a residue on your mask. So this next product is a hand cream by Soap and Glory. I haven't tried too many products from this brand. However, I heard Jen Phelps mention it in one of her videos. If you do not follow Jen Phelps yet or you don't know about her channel, I love her channel and I do recommend you check her out. She is a wonderful down-to-earth person and I really trust her recommendations. I've purchased multiple products for home recommendations and I saw her speaking highly about this specific hand cream. When I got this in a package, I did not realize that this was such a nice size tube. Honestly, when I purchased it, I did not look at the actual size of the tube. I did not read into it. So when I got it, I was pleasantly surprised like how nice and large this tube is. I do have combination oily skin on my face, but my body tends to be more normal to drier, especially in the winter times. I always like to make sure that I do have a good hand cream going into winter seasons. This has this amazing, very lotion-like texture. However, it is not running and it really just absorbs into the skin so lovely and spreads so easily. It smells smells heavenly. It, the smell is not overpowering. I usually do not like anything super scented. You guys already know that. This hand cream has this beautiful thin consistency where it absorbs into your skin considerably quickly without leaving the residue or like heavy feel. It almost has this watery base that lets the cream absorb so quickly into the skin of your hands. This hand cream has macadamia
Academia Oil and Marshmallow Root. I think this is what the scent is, Marshmallow Root. This next item that I wanna talk about, it is a skincare related. It is a color correction treatment lotion with the SPF 30 in it. I briefly mentioned it in my previous monthly collective haul. This past month, I really gave it a good try. This is a Seeker Repair Derma Green Solution by Dr. Jart. This is fantastic if you have a redness. I did not expect to like this product so much and it turns out this was actually super hyped on TikTok, which I don't really spend too much time on TikTok. That's why I kind of missed it, I guess. It turned out to work out so well for my combination oily skin. I find this product to be very well color correcting my redness that I have usually on my cheeks and around my eyebrows. Helps out with evening out the general tone of your skin. When a days when I really wanted to wear a minimal makeup, like maybe a little bit of concealer and maybe a little bit of powder foundation, this color correcting treatment came in really handy. Besides that it's offering you SPF 30, which is the minimum amount of SPF that you really should be wearing on an everyday basis, then it does even out the tone. And it also gave me a very nice smoothing base and making my visible pores a little bit less visible, giving me a very nice and smooth complexion and controlled my oils throughout the day really well. I find this product to be very multidimensional. It has a lot to offer. Like I said, I did not expect it to like it as much as I actually do. I'm even considering repurchasing it in a full size once I'm finished with this little one. So this past month, I also have been loving, I almost wanna say I rediscovered it and gave it a second chance around. This is a Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20. I got mine in the shade 16C. Initially, when I tried this product earlier in the year, I really thought that I was not gonna get too much use out of it because of its nature. It is a technically what it says it is. It is a moisturizer with a little bit of tint, but when you squeeze it out of the bottle, it definitely looks more of a, like a complexion product However, once you start buffing it into your skin, you do not get too much coverage. After I initially tried it, I kind of forgot about it during the summer period. And in the past few months, in October and November, the weather here in Florida started cooling down and I reached for it one day and then I couldn't stop using it over and over. It definitely works better for me now that at this time of the year when it's not as hot and humid, my skin really goes from being very oily to a little bit less oily and a little bit more normal. So this moisturizer works so much better for me me now than back in then and warmer season. It would definitely give me too much glow in summer. And right now it actually serves me as a moisturizer. It's definitely your more of a moisturizer with a little bit of tin type of formula. It's very, very light coverage. You can definitely build it up a little bit. However, it's not the product that I would rely to get the coverage from. I do notice a smoothing effect from this. So I use it more so as a very thin moisturizer with a little bit of SPF in it and a smoothing property. And if I need a little bit more coverage base-wise, foundation-wise, I would reach out for a spot concealer or maybe a powder foundation. So this tinted moisturizer was a nice rediscovery this time around. Yeah, let me tell you about some of the newer products that I've tried this month and I was not disappointed. These are the two eyebrow products from One Size Beauty. This is a tinted gel mascara and a slim brow pencil. I saw them being available on sale at Sephora and I picked them up. I had my eyes on them since the day they were launched. Both of these products are considerably new launches for One Size Beauty brand. Whatever I tried from One Size Beauty, I haven't been disappointed. So I kind of really like to try more things from the brand when they launch something new. The spoolie brush is a little bit on a bigger side. However, it is nice and stiff because it does give you more precision of color application. I'm wearing both of these products today on my eyebrows. What I wanted to say is that the formula is definitely interesting. It does give you a very nice hold. However, your eyebrows do not look stiff. This formula almost gives you like a cream to powder type of effect. You guys know that I love my eyebrows products and I talk quite a bit about all the new products that come out on the market here on my channel. I do think that this formula is somewhat innovative because out of all my tinted brow gels, none of them gives me this type of powdery effect. And as far as the pencil, I absolutely love this. I just recently filmed my 
top favorite products that I purchased from Sephora in the entire year of 2022. And the reason why I did not include this pencil because I just recently purchased it and I thought it wouldn't be necessarily fair to other products that are really tested on a span of pretty much the entire year or at least five to six months. And this pencil I just purchased a few weeks ago. This spoolie brush that's on the other side is also very nice and soft. This pencil is nicely pigmented you do not need to put too much pressure to apply the shade to get that proper pigmentation that you need. Nicely pigmented, it is very soft, but not too soft, and it doesn't give you that slippery emollient feel. I outlined my eyebrows today with ease, created the tail, and fill in all the sparseness that I do have in my eyebrow shape. This duo is definitely something else. Another new product that I also enjoyed this past month, Come Hell or High Water, Kali Ray mascara. This is a deluxe size mascara tube and I did talk about it in my Instagram stories for you guys. Girl, it feels like it's a natural bristle brush. However, I really love how narrow it is. I do not have a lot of lashes and my lashes are pretty thin. I find that larger brushes or figure eight shape brushes, they're really difficult for me to use and I find them quite messy to be honest. I really have been on the lookout of the mascaras with the thinner ones. I really like this mascara. Besides that, it does not smudge. It's really easy to apply. The wand is really comfortable to use on my thinner lashes. This mascara does not smudge on me. It wears really well throughout the day. You can build up a little bit of volume with this. However, you need to do it right away before the first coat fully dries. I also noticed that this mascara holds a curl to your lashes really well. I do have a few eyeshadow palettes to talk to you about, but before we get into that, let me share some beauty tools that I happen to love this month. This one, you've already seen on my channel. This is a putty primer applicator from e.l.f. I purchased it several months ago in a set of a three. However, I know that this brush is available on its own. I didn't really pay too much attention initially to this brush. However, recently I have been using it for my cream bronzers, for my cream blushes. I really love how this brush is a little bit more on the smaller side. It does have a really nice density to it. However, it is very, very soft. So whenever you apply your cream products to your face, especially the cream blushes, it does not disrupt what's already under that product. It is really easy to clean as well. So I can use a bronzer and then clean it off on the towel and just go ahead and apply my cream blush as well. Another beauty tool that I wanted to quickly mention, kind of also matches my outfit today, this beauty sponge from AOA Beauty. And I purchased it in a set of, I think, six from Amazon. As a matter of fact, this is my favorite shape to the sponge. One side is pointed and another side is slanted. I really love that I can use one sponge to apply my concealer, to blend it really nicely. This size is really useful and comfortable to apply your foundations. And also if you like baking or correcting any of your like cream contour or cream bronzer products, you can load this side of the sponge with the powder and just go ahead and clean it up if you need to chisel your contouring or your cream bronzer area. This is a really nice consistency. They were quite affordable and came in a pack of multiples. And yeah, I really have been loving it. This past month or so, I really have been loving my Ulta Beauty lip liner. This is automatic lip liner in the shade Bare. Definitely a great a recent find. I also have been loving this bronzer from Unfallible from L'Oreal. This is in the shade 250 Light. I did briefly mention that before, that the shade 200 was close to this shade. However, it was a little bit touch bit more pink. This shade 250 is a more on the neutral side. So I thought it was a really good match for my complexion. I'm wearing this bronzer today and I really find that besides that it is very soft, it, it is pigmented. You can definitely build it up to higher intensity if you wish. I feel like it's very versatile product that if I am like today, I'm lighter complexion. I'm not self tan. I can go more light handed, but if I self tan, I can definitely go more hand on this and build up that more defined contour and bronzing shade on my face. Very blendable and it also provides a smoothing effect on your skin. What's not to love? One honorable mention that I wanted to talk about today. I'm wearing it on my face today because I kind of wanted you guys to see it. This is technically a bronzer, but this is in the shade Reserve Your Cabana, which is the lightest of the options. And it really does look like a translucent powder. What's special about this powder, besides that it's super affordable, I really love how 
the pan is really nice and large and comfortable to use what's special about this is that this formula is a little bit glowy i use this to set the perimeter of my face i would not use it on my t-zone because the glowiness does accentuate your texture like i do have an large pores on my t-zone so i would not for that reason use it in this area in the center of my face but it does give you this beautiful satin glow but it's very subtle it's not glittery i just use my fluffy brush and i set my complexion product and it just gives me the most beautiful glow and it's just such an affordable drugstore jam especially now going into holidays where we do want a little bit glow to our skin so if you've never tried this product this is your sign so let's finally chat about a few eyeshadow palettes that i have here for you i wanted to briefly mention this eyeshadow palette this is super fun this is a hocus pocus 2 from ColourPop eyeshadow palette that ColourPop launched for Halloween. It's obviously based on the movie that I personally really love. Me and my boyfriend really enjoy our movie night watching the Hocus Pocus this time around once again without popcorn. This is my first Halloween Hocus Pocus palette from ColourPop. I know in the previous years they launched other versions. I really think that this palette is so much fun. I have created look tutorials on my Instagram and my TikTok for you using this palette if you like to see that. It is definitely Halloween. Halloween inspired. However, I still like that you can create as a neutral and warmer tones right here on this side. And then there is an option for cooler tones and neutrals. I really think that this palette, not only fun, but also smartly made, you can create a variety of looks and the formula is the good color pop formula that we know. Now I wanted to update you on this ethereal eyes by Mario eyeshadow palette. I did review this palette for you guys in a dedicated video. And all I wanna say is that I love this palette. I love this palette. I'm obviously a huge neutrals lover. However, as much as I like this palette, I also feel like I have a love-hate relationship with this palette. It is a super easy to work formula. You cannot mess this up. The mattes are so easy to work with. They literally blend themselves. Sometimes they blend away a little bit too much to my liking, but this is a perfect everyday use palette that you literally cannot mess up. You can just be as careless with it as possible and you would still create a beautiful look. Look. as far as these special glittery shades i just don't find them being that special i do love beautiful shimmers today i'm wearing pink glitter on my eyes i do love those special shades and very sparkly shimmery shades however these are just beautiful toppers here to my opinion this is not an invention it is not something that hasn't been done before it has been done before i literally found a very affordable dupe within my own collection it is a beautiful formula i'm definitely gonna have a good use out of this palette now that i already spent my money on it if you want to spend your money on if you have money to spend then go ahead and buy this but honestly if you're still debating if you should go and get it i would say you can easily skip I also wanted to give you an update on Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. I have to say that I love this packaging. I mean, how stunning. I love this color story and it is a beautiful Natasha Denona formula like we all already love. I created some beautiful looks with this. I actually have been reaching to this palette quite a bit since I got it. One smallest thing that I wish this palette had is a deeper matte shade. Other than that, I think this palette is absolutely stunning. Okay guys, this sums up my video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining and helpful. Let me know if you saw any of your favorites in this video and I also like to know what you picked up. What were the best products, your favorites for the past month? of November. I do not officially have a vlogmas going on for this month of December. However, I have a fun videos planned to be filmed this and next month. If you are not yet subscribed, I invite you to do so before you leave today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumb up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye!